beautiful people. Thank you for viewing Lydia's Insights. So today, what are we going to be talking about? Well, I'm going to be talking about my appearances. For one, <laughs> for one, I have like zero makeup on and I'm a mess. So I'm going to, we're going to go over that a little bit. We're going to talk about plastic for sure. And I'm thinking about bringing up the fact that we're all animals. So, but before I talk about any of that, let's just go ahead and do my introduction. <laughs> All right, a sprinkle, 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 a sparkle, 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 a bunch of pizzazz and all that jazz, woo! Okay, so y'all, okay, so this is how I went to my class, my weight training, my weight, my weight training, yes. So I went like this, right? This hat is so dirty, I need to wash it. Um, I went like this, okay. And then now that I'm doing my video, hold on real quick. I'm not sure. Okay, so first of all, I'm, I don't, I know, I'm setting you up against my mug. The one that's mama needs coffee. So hopefully you won't fall. And probably the volume, the sound has changed. Um, sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, I'm a mess, and and my time's limited because I got to study for a quiz that I'm going to be taking tomorrow for my literature class. I think she's going to make it worth 50 points. Um, so what do you all think? Do you think I should, like, finish the video like this? Like, what do you think? Does this look better? And like I was going to say, I didn't want to spend too much time on my appearances because my... um. I think that looks different, unique, and I'm going to keep it like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so anyway, um, got to remember all these terms, um, and maybe you guys are all, you all know them, like, um, the well, one I know, um, protagonist, and then we have the antagonist, and then we have to memorize, um, like, is it a novella, which is 50 to 100 pages, versus a novel that is um, 100 plus pages. And then we have to understand whether it's a flash fiction and, and what's a flat? <laughs> Anyways, I don't know what a flat is. So I, that's something I need to um, go over and study. And you're thinking to yourself, well, why are you barely going to be going over it today? Well for the test, the quiz that's tomorrow. Well, I don't have a good answer for you because anything I say will be like an excuse. So I'm just not even gonna go there. And so, okay, so that's that. Oh, and then you guys all know about me take it. Those of you that have been viewing, those of you that watch, um, so thank you for being a faithful viewer. Um, you guys know that I'm in a science class and uh, it's about the environment and about how humans impact the environment and, and what we can do and what's already been done, which what's already been done is sad and um, it's just sad. And then, so recently, the last thing that we're learning right now, right now, is about, um, about trash, basically, waste management. And they're they talking about, um, well, okay, if you don't know, plastic isn't good for the environment. Um, the less you can use, the best. Uh, I watch this family. It's part of what, what she had us watch. And there's this family that have, like, they have, like, zero trash. Like, for six months, the, the, the couple only have, like, this wine glass filled with trash. It's, like, so small. Um... So what they do is when she goes to the grocery shop, she uses a mesh bag and they don't buy anything that's prepackaged. I don't know how that worked when there's a coronavirus because this was uh, filmed before. So I'm sure that changed for them during the coronavirus. Um, anyway, and they have two young boys. So yeah, so I have been reducing the amount of plastic for that reason. And um so the kids have been pretty good about it. Um, there's certain things that they want, that they request. I'm like, no, that's just, it just comes in too much plastic. And 
Um, and then for only one use of the plastic, it's it hurts the environment, truly, truly. Um, there's this chemical that's released, a toxin. It's called dioxin. And that is like the worst, worst human-made toxin that can be released into the atmosphere. And that's like when an incinerator is used for like when you, we take our trash. Well, we don't take it. I don't know. Maybe you do. I don't take my trash to the landfill. So what happens is that like when it goes into the incinerator, then that toxin is released into the environment. So yeah, it's just like, mm. so that's what I'm trying to do. And maybe you are able to afford, you know, a vehicle that runs on electricity. Um, that's has like zero, you know, um, carbon dioxide, which is good. Uh, for me, I still have a vehicle that emits carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. But thank you to those of you that actually do, because you help those of us that cannot afford that right now in our lives. Um, the other thing that I was wanting to mention to you guys, I know it's like off, off of this whole thing, but also it is part of what I've been learning in my science class. I'm telling you this, it's like all this different stuff. So one of it is that um, maybe you already knew this about us, that we're just, we are an animal. Maybe you already knew, maybe you didn't, maybe you already feel like an animal because of, I don't know anyways, I'm not going to get into that one, but <laughs> um, we are just the human species. And, and I, so I have been viewing us humans that way. And I just, yeah, I've been looking at us like we're animals. I actually have been. And it's really fascinating to have that outlook um, on humans. I don't know. It just like, I, so when I see different things, like, um, for one that I can think of right now of knowing how women, when they hit their thirties, they all of a sudden realize the ones that have not married or have not had children. Um, maybe they wanted to put their career first. Um, and so then they, when they hit their 30s, they're thinking, oh my gosh, maybe I actually would like a child and my time's running out. And then they feel that internal clock. Tick, tick, tick. And so, excuse me, remember allergies. So then they, um, like this one lady, she she's an actress and that's what she when she hit her 30s, she was like, oh my gosh, maybe this is an avenue I want to, you know, venture. And so I'm not sure if she, um, I think she may have donated her egg. No, no, not donated, but she's saving her egg for maybe a, a later time. I'm not sure what she did, but it didn't hit her until she got in her 30s. And I was just thinking, wow. And I myself personally don't know any women like that. Um, but like my mother, she knows of a woman like that and she actually did go and um, this particular woman that my mom knows, she actually went and got artificially inseminated. Um, and she now says to, to those who ask, I don't know if she says it to this day, but I know when my mom had asked her, um, she said, no, I don't recommend it. Not that my mom was wanting to do that. My mom actually thought she was, well, my mom, that's a whole nother story, but she was in her forties when she actually had it done. Um, uh, the friend of my mom. So yeah, but that's, that's like an animal instinct in us is like, okay, I'm in my thirties and my internal clock is running out. Maybe they don't consciously think these steps out, but literally that's what it is. And all right, I'm going to also share something with you guys and you're all might want to, you can think that I'm crazy. And no, I don't have anything to give you for evidence on this, but I did. And I, um, I remember watching this uh, documentary on this, that when a woman, a female, a female species of the human species is in her 
she has her period, right? She has the menstruation. That, like, a couple weeks before, like, the male, the male of the human species <laughs> can actually scent it. Um, they can sense it that, okay, she's ripe, <laughs> so to speak. She's ripe. So then they get like, oh, she's in reproductive mode right now. This is a good time to mate, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, and so anyways, I was just thinking, wow. And okay, so I guess you could say I've done my own experimentation on this, um, on knowing about the time uh, mine is coming in or that I, I can feel it because I've never been regular. This might be TMI. So for those of you that don't want to hear it you can just go ahead and you know whip, something else <laughs> so um anyway yeah so i was like i you know, you can tell in your body um maybe you're not regular but you can tell in your body okay i think i'm getting close to it um am getting close to my period coming and and um i notice i'm not kidding you i am not kidding you you might think lydia you're a little bit mm. no i'm serious i have noticed more malattention during that time i am not playing around right now <laughs> and then maybe i wasn't even aware um and then maybe um my period is like it's it's it came and then I'm like, oh, okay, well that makes sense why I've been, you know, why I went out the last couple of days and I've been getting all this malattention. Um, yeah, I seriously did watch something on that and it makes sense, think about it. What happens when a dog goes in heat? Well, the males, they can smell it, right? Um, so, wow, yeah. Anyway, that's pretty crazy. All right, so I just shared something with you that I didn't even—I <laughs> wasn't even planning on sharing with you. So, how is that going to benefit you in life? Well, I don't know. You know, maybe I have no idea, honestly. Honestly, I don't know. That looks weird. Me doing that. So, okay. Wish me luck. Pray for me. Um, with me studying for my quiz. And um, I haven't started work sometime this month I'm supposed to I'm really pretty nervous about it I did the fingerprints on um, on Thursday oh uh, so I'll have to wait for that to go through and oh my gosh people I'm like nervous so yeah maybe you can pray for me please all right my lovely beautiful viewers thank you for viewing and listening to me talk about weird crazy stuff that you didn't even need to know and how is it going to help in your life i don't know but go go in peace and use it somehow so okay thank you for listening to me blah blah blah, blah. all right bye